Hi, um, I have the privilege of uh, bringing this week's midweek devotion to you. Uh, and so um, I wanted to just um, share a little bit about uh, looking at um, seeing the detail of God in our lives. Last month, Nick Truman uh, led us in a devotion uh, before we began our monthly um, elders meeting. He encouraged us to take time to be still and to see where we had seen God, not just over our day, but over our month, over our year, and even over the last decade. It was a really interesting exercise for me because it took my focus off all the things that were going on in my head, you know, the running of the meeting and all that kind of stuff. And instead, it stilled me and focused me on God. As I took time to do just that, I could see God's handprint on the detail of my life, not just in the present, but also his faithfulness in the past. I could, you know, recall the encouragement I've seen God give me when I was struggling, you know, through his word, uh, through the actions and words of others. I could see God's provision when I've been burdened, you know, with good family around me to help me then, uh, with friends, uh, with ministry teams to support me, uh, like the eldership team or the uh, Freedom in Christ ministry team, both um, support teams that I really value. I've seen God's hand as he's worked through to sh show me freedom in areas that I've struggled in. And I've also seen many answers to prayer um, when I've been praying for family or other circumstances in the past. The reality is, it's when we see God's faithfulness in the past that we can actually trust him to be faithful in whatever the future holds. You know, the story of David and Goliath in some way goes to illustrate this. You know, we know David trusted God as he headed into this battle to slay Goliath. But that trust that he had didn't come overnight. In fact, it says in 1 Samuel 17.37, and this is David speaking. He says, the Lord who rescued me from the bear, paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of the, this Philistine. He had no doubt in God's faithfulness for obviously at some stage during his time as a shepherd, he'd had to battle bears. He'd had to battle a lion and he had seen God's faithfulness and help then. And he had no doubt his faithfulness would come again as he fought Goliath. So I guess my question to you is, what are your bears? What are the lions in your life that you've had to trust God and seen him come through in? You know, is it a relationship breakup, a job loss, you know, the death of a loved one? When my thoughts turn to the Keith family as they have turned so often over this last week, I think of the enormity of their grief and sorrow after their son Noah died so suddenly. You know, we ask ourselves, where is God in that? And I recalled as I was pondering this, something Melanie had said at her mother Robin's funeral. She'd said, I know there's that verse that says that God works for good in all circumstances. And even though I can't see the good in this circumstance here with the death of my mother, I know that God is here. So she knew amidst that depth of her grief, she could trust God. And whether that was because she'd had past lions and bears in her faith journey to reassure her of God's faithfulness then. And who's to say that the sad death of her mum wasn't the bear or lion preparing her for the Goliath she's going through now as her and her family uh, come to grips with the loss of their precious son. So I would encourage you this week, take time to be still. Take time to ask yourself, where have you seen God? You know, in your day, in your week, in your month, or even over the last decade. Because it's when we see God's faithfulness in the past that we can absolutely trust him to be faithful in whatever the future holds. Have a good week.